What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon News Daily, a daily Pokemon news show where I go over all the Pokemon news for the day, from official news, to the leaks, to the rumors, spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games, to the movies, to the anime. So if you want to be keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. And if you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below because it does help out a ton. Also leave a comment as well, I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos so leave a comment down there and we could chat it up but without no further ado let's jump right in to today's news so if you do follow me on twitter you will see that yesterday's video got basically trashed well yesterday's video was good it was a ton of trading card game news and anime news and my thoughts on that as well my thoughts on the the king azel rumors that are going on right now about the nintendo direct and you know the 2019 pokemon game being Breath of the Wild tier. The long story short of all that, my thoughts on it is basically, I think a Game Freak is aiming for the 2019 games to be as strong as Breath of the Wild as what Breath of the Wild did to the Legend of Zelda series as far as shaking up the mechanics, making it the game of the year. I think they're shooting for the 2019 Pokemon game to be considered as the game of the year for 2019. Now that's big shoes to fill, especially during that year that Breath of the Wild came out, it was fighting against Mario Odyssey. So again, if it's the 2019 Pokemon games is gonna be that tier of a game, we got a good game on our hands. Hopefully that doesn't just, you know, something to get us hyped up. I really want them to follow through with that statement and we have to wait and see until the games come out. So that's pretty much my thoughts on that rumor. So the biggest news story that came out today has to be for the Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon and Pokemon Sun and Moon games. And that is the Get Rare Berries event. This is coming from the official Pokemon website. It says Get Rare Berries. Do not miss your chance to obtain these exclusive treats that will boost your Pokemon's performance. Starting early January 2019, which is today, Pokemon fans will be able to take part in a very exciting event. Yes, I said a very exciting event. Players of Pokemon Ultra Sun, players of Pokemon Ultra Moon, Sun, and Moon will have the opportunity to get a mystery gift containing a selection of special berries that have been previously unavailable in these games. The mystery gift contains the Igma Berry, the Marcel Berry, the Custap Berry, the Jacob Berry, and the Rop Berry. I'm probably saying all of these wrongs. Roast me in the comment section. Each of these rare berries have useful effects when helped by a Pokemon, but you may not want to use any right away. By traveling to the Pokepelago in your game, you can plant the berries to grow more of them. With proper maintenance, your supply of these handy items will never run dry. Now, just a heads up, people are saying that that you get 12 of each berry so you do get a lot off the gate but you do want to plant and grow these berries so you do not run out these are going to be great for competitive use i'm gonna go over them in a second but you're gonna want these berries <laughs> competitive players will be pleased to learn that these berries can be used in the pokemon global link rated battles and online competitions unless the regulation state otherwise they can also be used for the 2019 video game championship series for the Moon series onward. This distribution runs from January 7th, 2019, which was yesterday, to September 2nd. So do not miss on adding these valuable items to your game. To get these berries via the Nintendo Network, select Mystery Gift in the main menu, select Receive Gift, select Get via the internet, and then Yes, and then Yes again to connect to the internet. Watch as you receive your berries, speak to the delivery person in any Pokemon Center to add the berries to your inventory, and be sure to to save your game. Again, you get 12 of each berry, which is cool, but also you want to rush over to the Pokepelago, plant
find a couple of these bad guys so you will not run dry of any of these. Also, do note if you have a copy of Pokemon Ultra Sun and a copy of Sun, the original game, you can double dip. You can get these berries delivered to you in both versions of the game. And hell, if you have Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you could quad dip. So that's pretty good to know. So that I think this is pretty cool because again, this is us getting untainable items in these games that again, were not eligible to get otherwise. Now moving on to the next news story, again, covering four Pokemon, Sun, Moon, and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And again, coming from the official Pokemon website, it says play in a very great rating battle season 14. Again, with the Berry Puns Pokemon Please, Pokemon Company, please, please, you guys are better than this. It states that this raiding battle season is number 14, and it will take a lot of skill to stand out against players around the world. Challenge other trainers to climb the leaderboards and find out where you rank against global competition. The raiding battle leaderboards resets at the beginning of each season, so you have to start at the same level as everyone else. As you battle, you move up or down in rankings based on your match outcomes. Raiding battle season 14 began on January 8th, which was yesterday, 2019. Rating battles are available in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, Pokemon Sun, and Pokemon Moon. Please note that Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon battles will be ranked separately from Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon battles. Also, Pokemon and moves introduced in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon may not be used in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon rating battles respectively. This season special format features singles battles and and perhaps all held items except berries again why are they going hard on these berries and why we just got this berry event makes sense it says choose the best berries for your battles and see how many wins you can squeeze out all mythical pokemon some legendary pokemon and astro ninja will not be allowed remember that all you need is a pokemon trainer club account and your own copy of pokemon ultra sun pokemon ultra moon pokemon sun or pokemon moon registered at the Pokemon Global link to participate. Visit the Pokemon Rating Battle page to keep an eye out on your record and ranking throughout the Rating Battle Season 14. And you can also check out which Pokemon are the most popular in each format, as well as your most common moves and more. Good luck battling in Rating Battle Season 14. Now, as you guys know, I'm a huge casual player, so a lot of this is flying over my head, but I do know that this is the start of the Moon series, the start of Season 14 for the Pokemon rating battle for Pokemon Sun and Moon and I'm pretty excited guys to see the community jump back into this game but then I'm at the point where I'm like I want to see the 2019 games I wish that Pokemon Let's Go were more competitively focused so we can see better competitive matches in the Let's Go games but I understand why they continuing the massive player base on the 3DS with Pokemon Bank the, the community is huge there so it kind of makes sense why they're keeping the 3ds relevant as far as the online is concerned or the online competitions anyway and just as you thought we were done with the pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon news <laughs> strap in we got one more news story again coming from the official pokemon website it says pokemon with only one type are invited to the simple symphony online competition it says the next online competition featuring the pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon games is an intense test for your pokemon that have only one type in the simple symphony online competition trainers create a team using pokemon with only one type excluding legendary and mythical Pokemon. See the competition regulations for a complete list of eligible Pokemon. I'm going to have that linked in the description just in case you want to check it out. It says the competition features singles battles with teams of three to six Pokemon, of which three will compete in each match. Pokemon brought in via Pokemon Transporter will be permitted in battle. All Pokemon will be set to level 50 for the duration of the battles. Z moves are permitted, but Mega Stones may not be used. Item are allowed but trainers may not have duplicate items in their battle teams there will be a 10 minute player clock with 45 second turns all qualifying participants in the simple symphony online competition will receive 50 battle points players must complete at least one battle to qualify for the reward registration for the simple symphony online competition starts tuesday january 15 2019 the competition goes on from 
from Friday, January 25th, 2019, and until Saturday, January 27th, 2019, trainers will be limited to 15 battles per day with unplayed battles carrying on to the next day. Now, don't worry, no huff, no puff. If you want to be notified on when you need to register, when you need to go online and battle, subscribe with those notifications on. I will be doing videos once the online competition registration starts as well as when the online battles start as well. So again, if you want to be notified when you need to register and when you need to battle online, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you can be notified. This is all trainers will need a Pokemon Trainer Club account. I'm gonna have a link in the description to show you how to get one if you do not know how to get one by now. And it says a wireless internet connection and their own copy of Pokemon Ultra Sun or Pokemon Ultra Moon video game with a party of eligible Pokemon. See the competition regulations. See the competition regulations for more details. Good luck, trainer. Now, again, this is just for the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games, not for the original base Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Now for some deals of the day. This is coming from It's Super Effective, the Pokemon podcast on Twitter. They posted up a picture of a Target sale that's going on in their local Target that puts Pokemon X, Pokemon Y, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, all for $25. Now, if you guys know, Pokemon games rarely go on sale, so this is pretty cool to see them at $25. Unfortunately, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon at Target, I don't believe is on sale, but don't thread. I did have it in yesterday's video coming from Wario64. The Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon games are on Amazon right now for the same price, $25. A great deal, again, for these games if you haven't picked them up yet. Now, I'm going to end off the video with this tweet from the Pokemon company. It says, hmm, there's nothing in the Pokedex about about this we need to check with professor oak and get back to you wink and it's from a diana elizabeth on twitter it says how do bulbasaurs wear hats and it shows a bulbasaur plushie with a red winter beanie on on his head and then another one in a separate picture with it on its leaf like on the seed leaf on the back i thought this was pretty hilarious that the pokemon company is even interacting with the community i think this is pretty cool is rarely done with the Pokemon company, especially on Twitter. To see them reposting a person's picture from the community is pretty cool. Even though this person may have be connected to the Pokemon company somehow, I'm unsure. But I do follow her, so I think this is pretty cool. Let me know your answer to this mind-boggling question. How do Bulbasaur's wear their hats? And that is going to be it, guys, for today's news videos. Not too much to cover. Again, a lot of Pokemon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Ultra Moon news with the shake of battle season 14 being started today in the moon series and that rule set coming into effect today. Please let me know your thoughts on all the topics we went through today from the all the battle online competition stuff to the berry stuff to the Bulbasaur hat. Obviously, if I missed anything, please let me know in the comment section below. Peace. I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for another Pokemon News Daily. Peace out. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.